Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today it's going to be more of a behind the scenes video as we are approaching August which is going to be my most busiest time of the year for weddings. I've got so much that I need to prep for my kit so I wanted to do a sort of vlog style behind the scenes of what I'm going to do to prep my kit for August and take you through it as well and sort of show you what I am doing. I've got a list here of stuff that I need to get through today so I'm going to do that. And there's minis that I need to top up on, I need to go through trial sheets, I need to sort out my inventory and I need to have a look at what I'm missing, what needs purchasing and then what I've got plenty of. So I'm going to go through everything in depth today and this video is going to be a sort of behind the scenes on what I'm doing there. So I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching. Okay, so the first thing from looking at my list, I need to go through my kit, top up my mini. So I decant a lot of my products into smaller bottles so they're easier to carry. And I just need to go through as I have done quite a few weddings as well in June and July. So I need to top up on those products. I need to see what I'm running low on because I know a few of my foundations, I haven't got much left in the actual big bottles. So I need to go through what I'm running low on, top up any of my little mini products Products. I need to also see what may need replacing if there's anything that is on the verge of being out of date I need to make sure that's not going to be out of date. I have also got an out of date tracker on my computer So have a look through that there But what I'm gonna do for now is just go through my minis get them all topped up and we can have a proper look together on what needs sorting out with my products. Okay, so these are my foundations that I've got in my kit that I think may be running low. So you've got the Yuma ones and then a couple of Too Faced ones. I'd probably say these two Too Faced ones I use most out of the whole collection that I have got here. So I'm definitely gonna go through and make sure that these are topped up. These tend to be the shades that I do go through the quickest as well. So I'm gonna go through and make sure that I top all of these up just to make sure that I don't have to do it in the middle of August when it's going to be a lot more awkward and a lot more busy. Okay, so I've just got these two foundations. So as you can see, there isn't a lot in there either. So I definitely need to get some more foundations at some point. But I'm just going to top these up now. So then I'm just going to do the same with the rest of these and make sure they are all as topped up as they can be. Okay, so that is those now all topped up and ready to go back in my kit. They're all as full as they can be, so it just means, that, say, I've got a big bridal party of eight or seven or eight. It means that I have plenty of products for everyone, and sometimes I also have weddings three, two or three days in a row. So this just means that I don't have to worry about topping them up between weddings. So it makes my life so much easier by topping them up before I've got a busy month. I have then also got my mini Urban Decay and then I originally bought the big one. So I had this one and then I bought a couple packs of the big all-nighters as obviously you get more for your money in the big ones, but I keep this for travel. So I just top this up from the big one, which I need to do again. So I'm just gonna take the product out of here and then put it in here. I then also have this essence that I've been enjoying. This is the Mills spray. So I really, really like how this is. And I've got these little bottles 
from Shein as they're a really good size for my kit. I used to put everything in these sorts of bottles which is obviously quite a bit taller and bigger. So I have got another one of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this toner out of here and put it in the same bottle as I have this one. Okay so that's those two spray bottles done. So they look a lot nicer together and I feel like they're so much more compact. And then also this is all topped up as well. So that's those finished. So now it's time to sort out my lipsticks. And as you can see here, I do decant all of my lipsticks as I can hold so much more in this palette than I would do if I carried them individually. So there is quite a lot that have gone down from other weddings and trials. So I just need to make sure that products in here that I am low of that I do top up as much as I can. So I am now just having a look at my disposables and they're all okay. I'm going to top up on a few of my mascara ones. I've got loads of these. I for some reason have lost like packs of these. I thought I had loads of the small ones. So I'm going to need to order more of them. But I'm going to top up some of these ones here. So just popping them all in like that. So now they are all topped up. While I was going through my kit, I was making note of what I may be low on, what I haven't got backups of. So I'm going to have a look at grabbing some bits that I need and then we're going to go from there. So showing you what I'm doing here, I'm picking up three of the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Waterproof Mascaras. They work really really well and I always use them in my kit. Moving on, I'm having a look at First Aid Beauty. I've been dying to try these glycolic and lactic acid pads for so long so I thought I'm just finally going to give it a go. They're on 10% off so they're only about £16. I'm picking up the small pack, but I've been dying to try these, so I added these to my basket. So that basket total came to £43.17, and this was done at Boots. Then jumping on to look fantastic, I'm searching up the Duo Lash Glue. So I like the one that has a little brush on the end. I'm picking this one up as mine's slightly older now, so I need to get a new one. Also having a look on Look Fantastic for some micellar water, so I did a bit of research. And I didn't actually realise that Garnier is now cruelty free, so I thought I'd definitely get some of them. I found this really good deal, it was a duo pack, and they were only £7.19, which is really, really cheap. So I was like, definitely buying some of them. So adding them to the basket as well, and then when I was there, this was on a bit of a whim to be honest, but I thought I'd have a look at some lip liners, because I wanted to get some more for my kit anyway. And I did want to get some more of the brown shades. And I've recently been using the Rimmel one, which I really, really love. So I was having a look at the colours, having a play around, and I love the look of brownie pie, so I added that to my basket. So then free delivery was for £25 and above, so I was like, I'll have to just get cappuccino. It took me to £26.74 in total. Okay, so it's later on in the day now, and apologies for changing, I had to go and sort my car. Um, But I ended up doing a order, which I've probably put a bit of like some clips in for. So I ended up getting some bits that I needed from Boots and look fantastic. So I wanted to be prepped and make sure that I have everything that I could need. And I do like to order it a little bit in advance, to be honest, I'm only leaving it about a week. But I normally like to leave it a little bit later and order things in advance to make sure that I have everything I need for the weddings. I ordered some micellar waters, lip liners, lash glue and I did get a couple of cleansers for myself because I'm running low. And then I also bulk bought a load of waterproof mascaras because I get through them really really quick. And then I also got some of the First Aid Beauty glycolic pads which are meant to be really really good for before makeup as like an exfoliant, so I wanted something like that for ages. So I ended up buying all those bits now, I've just gotta wait for them to arrive, but they should all be here before August, so that is the main thing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go through all of my products, and I've got an inventory tracker for this. So what this does is it goes through the products, what type of product they are, how long they last, and when they were opened, so I can make sure that everything in my kit is fresh. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, I'll pop it up now, um, but it's basically all listed through sections and it just makes sure that everything I have got in my kit is in date and it's all fresh and clean to use. So I'll show you what that looks like there. 
gonna go through that and then make sure that is up to date as I have bought some new products recently. Okay, so I've sorted out all of my products and put them in the form. So now they're all sorts of showing when they're gonna expire and then any that have I can take out and then just make sure my kits are much more organized. All I have to do now pretty much is wait for my new kit to arrive. So when that all comes in, I can either get that put into smaller pots as well or literally just put it in my kit. So I'm pretty much waiting for that to arrive, but there wasn't as much as I thought there was. I did do a list of top up recently as well as top up on brushes. So I am doing okay. So everything is pretty much all sorted now. I've got my kit packed behind me so I normally just keep that packed and clean but yeah probably a little bit more of a shorter video today but basically just going through all the basics of what I do behind the scenes before a busy month full of weddings so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one